I'm Chef Jasper, and today we're in the kitchen preparing an old school dish, but it's so simple. And anymore, I love my easy recipes. Not everybody has all day long to bake like Mama and Nana used to do, I'll tell you that. But I'm preparing some scones. I love the history behind the scones, and I've added a little twist to it. That's right, limoncello. My friends, when life gives you lemons, you make limoncello. What else can I say? Now let's get started. First of all, we have some all-purpose flour. To that, we're gonna add our dry ingredients, a little bit of baking powder, of course, and a little bit of salt. Now, another thing I wanna tell you, a lot of people don't put a lot of sugar in this recipe. I tend to put a little more sugar into it. I think sometimes they're a little dry, and what happens with the sugar, kind of melts down into it and makes them a little moist. So there's nothing the matter with that. Don't worry about that. But the addition of a little limoncello, uh, it's going to taste just wonderful. So let's add our sugar. And then we're going to add blueberries to this. But there's a little secret to the blueberries. I'll tell you a little more about that in just a bit. Now, let's get started with our wet ingredients. Of course, we need to cut in a little bit of butter. Now, this is one whole stick of butter, but look, we grated this butter ahead of time. I absolutely love it when it's grated. It just, it works right into this. Some heavy cream or buttermilk. I prefer buttermilk, so much more flavor. And of course, a little bit of vanilla. A little bit more doesn't hurt. Some limoncello, oh, you can't help not putting enough limoncello in there. You could put as much as you really want. It's not gonna affect it, I'll tell you that right now. And just get a little microplane. We wanna grate some lemon in there. The more lemon, the better in this. It's not gonna hurt. You can't overdo on the lemon. I also like to put a little lime in here. I make a lime cello also, but you could buy the limoncello. Uh, at the liquor store, but you can also make your homemade limoncello, and boy, oh boy, does it make a difference. It doesn't take 30 days like everybody tells you. I even have a friend who makes the limoncello in an Instapot, and he has it ready in less than an hour, so search for that recipe. Okay, let's get our lemon zest. How about that? There we go, and now we're just going to cut everything into this. Oh, yeah. That butter makes all the difference in the world. There we go. Now, if you think it's a little too dry, because you're not working with your hands right now, remember, then you can always add a little bit more buttermilk. It's not gonna hurt the recipe, but you can also add a little limoncello, even for more flavor. I don't like using lemon extract. I want the real deal. How about that? There we go. And I could kind of tell just by a little feeling here that we're almost where I want this at. It's all coming together. And I think I'm very, very close. Now, everybody always questions, you know, what do you do with this right here? Come on, don't waste any of it. Just slide your finger right along there. I love to give those little extra tips. Be careful, you know, it may be a little sharp right there. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty. You could put some gloves on, but don't worry about that. And let's mix this by hand and finish. And yeah, I think it's moist enough. There we go. Now, one more step. It's not difficult. We gotta make sure we have all that mixed in there. We don't want to put the blueberries in too early. Can you overmix a scones? I don't know. You know, we're not gonna get into the science here with the flour and the baking powder. We're not gonna worry about that. Okay, here we go. I think we're ready. I would like a little more lemon zest in there, to be honest with you. Add our blueberries. Now, this is a trick. We don't want those blueberries to pop. And they will pop. What I mean by popping, you don't want to smash them yet. They're going to smash. They're going to, to see how that right there is starting to smash a little bit. So don't worry. 
you just gently fold them in there. See that one kind of exploded a little bit. That's okay. We have our mix ready now and we'll put this on the cutting board. And now it's time to shape our uh, scones, our lemon cello and blueberry scones. Kind of be a little gentle because we don't want to pop those blueberries, like I said, because they're going to pop in the oven. Just this is what you need to do. Look, it's that simple. Now, some people make round scones. Some people make triangular shaped scones. I've seen squares. It doesn't really matter. You want to be original. I'll, I'll show you the, the probably the most authentic style that dates really back to the 17th century and even before then. Like I said, there's some great history. I just put a little flour down on this beforehand. See those popped a little bit already? That's okay. We're going to kind of hide them in there. Evenly distribute these out a little bit. I think we're okay at this point. And I'm not even worried about the edges being perfect or anything like that. But I do want to cut this in to a square. And then, best of all, I reshape them. It doesn't, does not matter. Here we go. I form this down a little bit. You can get a cutter, a knife, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna do these with. Okay, kinda look at this here. Kinda get your idea now. So, first of all, you know, when you cut them, we wanna probably get, I'm looking at this right now, I'm probably gonna get about six nice ones out of here. First of all, let's cut this right down the middle. Okay. And now we're going to cut it just like a pie. How about that? Now this could be a beautiful one. Just like that. That's all I have to do. Okay. They don't have to be perfect. Come on. And... At this point, let's just do a few of these right now. Let's get some buttermilk. If you want to add a little more sugar on top, you could do that also. But guess what? Oh, this buttermilk makes all the difference in the world. But guess what? You know what I use? A little lemon zest. There we go. We don't want to waste this lemon at all. I'll use the rest of the lemon and some lemon cello or something. I don't know. I'm not going to waste it. I'll tell you that. There we go. And then here we have a little more in here. And let's just kind of sprinkle it on these last couple of ones. How's that? And that's it. Let's put this in a 400 degree oven and we're going to bake them until nice and golden about 15 to 20 minutes. Ah, the scones are out of the oven. These Scottish and British pastries are so delicious. They've just cooled a little bit. And now the, uh, how would I say, maybe the piece de resistance, the ending to our scones, a little bit of limoncello and powdered sugar we're going to do a little drizzle here right on top now i start with a little bit of limoncello <laughs> and uh, of course i add a little more you don't have to use limoncello uh, of course a little bit of water or buttermilk is just fine maybe a little lemon extract but oh come on i mean the smell right now from the blueberry and lemon scones and no they're not perfect that's what they are they're scones they're just they're just cut this is not a bakery or anything like that and like i said earlier you can make them round you can square it doesn't matter i did mine in like a little pie shape and of course our drizzle on top are you ready here we go Okay, I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to the drizzle. So I'll do that nice, you know, for photos, let's say. But if you want my opinion, I covered a whole top with this. 
and what a difference it makes. You need that. It not only looks good, it tastes absolutely delicious. This is something I'm so honored to serve my family. Something that's quick, easy, and delicious. And of course, maybe you want to use a little raspberries, a little blackberries. It really doesn't matter because in the end, a scone is a scone, whether it's limoncello or blueberry. It's a sweet biscuit that you are going to absolutely love and something you're going to want to serve to your family. I know I do. What I always tell everybody, manja bene. Eat well, my friends. Thank you.